Back here with another review, this one from Innova. It's one of their newer mid-ranges on the market. Could just be another mid-range that they wanted to add to the market. We'll find out. Anyways, this one's DX. Got it in a player pack last weekend at a tournament down in Rock Hill. It's the J. It's not super new to the market, but I believe it came out last year. Dave Down the Pace says it's their most point and shoot disc that they have. We'll see. Uh, profile, very flat. Feels like a classic mid-range. Feels actually really good. I usually don't like DX because you find the, all the starter discs all over courses and you pick it up and it feels just not so good, but we'll see. Uh, it's got the tiniest little bead, maybe a bead. You can feel something there, but very small. But real grippy. Feels great. Didn't think I'd like DX like that. So we'll throw it, see how I like it. See how it flies. I think I know how it's gonna fly. Goes and goes and goes. Tailwind. That's the end of a J. Turned out I really like this thing. The best way to describe it is like a Mako, a Rock 3, and a Rock. Had a baby, and a little J came out. So, 5401, it's pretty much exactly what it is. The glide was pretty crazy. Could be a little bit of the breeze out here, but I would try to not put so much power in it. But it had, had no interest in stopping. It just wanted to keep going. So this thing will go a long way for you. Um, DX plastic thrown on grass and a little bit of dirt here and there is already chipping up. So I know that going in if you get DX, but you can mold it into something you really like, it turns over. But uh, I would say it's just true to the numbers. It's a good go to mid range if you want good straight shots and controlling them here and there. It's nothing, nothing flashy. That's the J. One more for the road. Thanks for watching. Anheuser. I slipped on some leaves. I promise.